Hey guys. Hey guys. My name is Genesis and today I wanted to make a video to talk about the story of me breaking my ankle. So I'm going to be talking to you guys about from when I first broke my ankle until now. I'm not fully healed yet at all, but i am been about seven weeks, I'm seven weeks in right now. So I know when this happened to me at first, I was looking up tons of these videos just to see like what, how recovery time takes and like just I never really knew anything actually about breaking a bone so it's like you know I was like totally on Google you know WebMD everything so I figured I could grab my glass of wine and give you guys my 28th I broke my ankle in a car accident and um it was crazy it was a drunk driver hit me and I broke my ankle in two places. Um, it's called a bimolar fracture. Um, I was just like, oh my god, I couldn't move my leg. I had to be pulled out of the car. And I just immediately, immediately, immediately felt this like throbbing pain in my foot that I've never felt before in my life. So I was obviously also really shaken up with the um, car accident itself. So I was like having a panic attack. And I had an ambulance ride to the hospital and um, for like ever in pain. It seemed like forever, but it was really actually like maybe about like maybe an hour an hour and a half time I was just on a stretcher in like the lobby of like an emergency area and I was waiting to go in and um, <clears throat> so I go in and um, they cut off all my 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 pants because I was wearing pants they just took scissors and they just cut my pants and I just remember feeling so infuriated because I had so much pain and I feel like the person who was cutting my pants just wasn't handling with care because like I'm precious cargo, hello. So, yeah, so I was just like, oh my God, I was crying nonstop. That's number one. I was crying nonstop. I just couldn't even deal with this pain. It was like the craziest pain I've ever felt in my life. So, in the hospital, I got x-rays done and I needed to have surgery. Um, they told me otherwise, like, I would have arthritis immediately, they say. So, I was shocked upon, like, I mean, I clearly I knew it was broken, but, like, I just was just terrified. I was shocked. I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. My ankle's broken. I was just crying, crying so much and, like my ankle was like blown up so big um so it was a lot a lot a lot a lot of pain um I had so surgery two days later after the car accident and i was in the hospital from the day of the car accident to the day that i had surgery um they had to put this huge needle in my um in my ankle because it was too like um to numb me so that way I don't feel the pain while he puts the um splint on my ankle so they sent like a um like a physician a physician's assistant and he, I think he, that's what he was but um he looked at the x-rays that they took and he said that um he was gonna put my foot into a splint and that he needed to numb it, the area so he was going to um put a needle and that needle was huge it was 
so huge. I was, I saw it, I looked at it only one time and I was petrified and I never looked again. I just closed my eyes. I didn't even look. I was like, oh my God, that thing is huge. And he had to like stick it in. Like I felt, I didn't look, but I felt when he did it and touched my bone and it was like, oh, but I was so thankful because that was the first time that I had felt relief since the time of when I broke my ankle, which was like at, um, like 8 30 or 9 o'clock p.m um and this must have been like three or four o'clock a.m that they that they put the needle in and then they put me in the splint so the splint i was um basically patched up and now i was just waiting for surgery okay so two days later i have surgery and um, I met the surgeon, we had the whole team come over and like just talk with everyone in front of me about like what is going to happen and who's doing what and like, um, yeah, and the anesthesiologist came and he basically put this mask over me. He said count to three and he like at one, I was like knocked out because the next thing I knew I was waking up in recovery. And I just was like feeling so, first of all, my throat was feeling like really um, dry and like, you know, when you have like a really bad sore throat, that's what that felt like. Um, and then uh, like, you know, all my family and everybody was there. They, the surgery took a lot longer than what they had anticipated for it to take. Um, the surgery was supposed to be okay so my surgery took about three hours and um they told me actually afterward that the reason why the surgery took three hours was because when they went in there um what they weren't able to see when they did the x-rays um was that i had torn my tendon as well and um, so they had to do what they had to do to basically repair that as well. All right, so they ended up giving me um, 12 screws in my ankle. I have 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. That's crazy, right? I have 12 screws in my ankle. Like, so ridiculous. I have 12 screws in my ankle. Um, and here will be a photo. Um, yeah, so I wore, after they did surgery, I had a, put another splint on, and, um, but it was, like, split open in the middle just to accommodate, like, swelling and everything and after surgery I really was in a lot of pain I think it was morphine I was on things called like trauma doll things like that it was crazy so I'll also show a picture to you guys um, of the like I got so many bruises on the back of my arms because that's where they had to give me shots for blood thinners um the whole time that i was there because they didn't want me to get blood clot um also i had to take something which was a stomach coder um every few hours when the nurse came and checked you know my vitals and, and gave me more of that stuff because um i had to coat my stomach because i was taking like a lot of things so that was that and then um I went home the next day. Okay, so I was in the hospital for a total of three nights and four days. On the last day that I was in the hospital, they taught me how to use uh, my crutches and how to care for um, my splint, uh, which I could not get wet at all to any capacity. Okay, so I'm back. Um, so these are the crutches. 
here are my crutches. Um, these are my crutches. Um, they talk, they put them specifically to my, to my, um, height. And then they taught me how to use them. They taught me how to basically go up and down stairs with them. So, when I got home from the hospital, obviously I was super happy to finally have a shower. Because I had not showered, um... And actually in the hospital as well, as like unpleasant as this can possibly end up sounding, but like I wasn't even standing to pee or anything. Like I didn't use the bathroom because um, the whatever it was that they were giving me was like a blocker. I didn't need to use the bathroom at all. I hadn't used the bathroom in like days, but I every time I had to like pee, um, I had to use like a bedpan and I had to lift up from the bed and I had to um, put the pan underneath me in the hospital and just like pee in the pan and then just get like a wipe and like it was really 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 bad like just bad I cannot put any type of weight I'm still a hundred percent not weight bearing like I'm not done I still my ankle is still currently broken at this moment in time while I'm making this video um but I had to use my crutches I had to be like in a wheelchair or something and um wait Okay, so I will tell you this much though. When I got home, it was like, okay, I finally dealt with like the injury itself. But when I got home from the hospital, it was really like more, okay, now I have to deal with like real life now. Like I have to, like my job has to be on pause. My whole sense of like independence and like, individuality was just pretty much like gone like because I couldn't do anything for myself it was a really 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 like depressing few weeks like I had until November 18th the most depressing time of my life I was like slapped in the face with reality like sis you cannot walk you can't shower um here's what I had to I still have to use this, but I was still in the splint at the time. I'm no longer in the splint. Um, this is what I use to shower. It's like a, I put this over my cast and I just have to leave like a foot out when I go into the shower because it can't get wet. But at the time, <clears throat> I was in a splint. Um, so terrible so terrible I was so depressed I just felt like my life was completely 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 over and done for I was like this is the end of the world <sighs> inside of the house like I never left the house I was on bed rest I was in pain I was in a lot of pain well The pain actually didn't last the entire time. I, I feel like maybe after two or two and a half weeks, I didn't have much pain any further. Um, it was just kind of discomfort. I dropped my painkillers because they left me, they left me um, to leave the hospital with um, oxycodone, oxycodone. And um, actually, I really honestly felt like the oxycodone um, wasn't as helpful as like just a regular ibuprofen for whatever reason i feel like the regular ibuprofen is what actually helps my because my pain was i feel like my pain was the swelling inside of the splint 
um, was pushing against the splint, which is trying to hold it all together. And it was super, super painful. So just, I wanted to try to like reduce the swelling. So that's the reason why I took the ibuprofen, just, you know, whatever. So it definitely helped much more than the Oxycontin that they let me leave the hospital with. Um, or shall I say that they prescribed me like, hello, weirdo. Um, but so on November 18th, I go to the orthopedic clinic and they took my stitches off, which really hurt. I know everyone is different, but for me, the stitches hurt. Um, November 18th, so this is maybe 20, close to 20 days after my surgery, I had the splint. Then I went to the next appointment and I got my stitches taken off. So they took the splint off. They took the stitches off. Um, they put like like little bandage stickers together so that way the skin is like together to like, you know, whatever, close. So then the next cast that they put on me, which I currently still have on right now, is a fiberglass cast. Okay, so um, the next day after I had that appointment where they put the fiberglass cast on me, the doctor called me. Actually, I lied. It wasn't the next day. It was actually the same day. You know, we had gone to the appointment. It was early in the morning, and then we went to get breakfast, and we were actually at the diner having breakfast, and then the 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 PA, the physician's assistant, um, Nick, called me, and he told me that the x-rays, you know, he reviewed them with the... Um, with the uh, surgeon, which is the head of the, he's the chairman of the entire thing or whatever. Um, they reviewed the x-rays and he, he advised him that my bones were not in proper alignment. They took the cast off and they put me another one. Um, which I was kind of really actually not happy with because he had to specifically manipulate like my foot so that it's in like a nice trajectory so where it it's like not so that way it's just properly healing you know what i mean it's just healing prop so i was kind of not happy with that cast because it was kind of tight like i'm gonna see if i can find a picture of it but in that cast you can specifically see like my doctor's handprint and like just how much um pressure he was putting on it to like it was tight i felt like it was like cutting off the circulation in my foot i was really like i i couldn't really sleep well in the nighttime i would wake up and i would try to like pull on the cast just to try to get some and like wiggle my toes just to try to get some like it was terrible let me tell you something sleeping with a broken foot a broken ankle is terrible the worst thing possible the worst thing ever but yeah I'm six weeks now and two days um away from the day that i had surgery and what else so yeah so i went back two weeks after they put the original fiberglass cast on me and um it told me that the that the uh, bone was healing pretty, you know, good. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, as I go getting updates, I'll go ahead and keep on making updates just so that you know everyone can see what's the story or whatever. And um, yeah, wow, look at this okay you guys so that's pretty much all i have for right now with regards to like my ankle and the surgery i'm gonna go ahead and put in some pictures if you guys have any questions please feel free just let me know if there's anything that you know you have any curious questions about or whatever um yeah so i'll come back with another video when i have more updates i do have an appointment on monday to go back to the clinic um, I anticipate that I'm going to be in the moon boot and um, hopefully just moving this process along because I'm tired of having a broken ankle. Like, but yeah. Okay. Bye. I love you guys.